Okay, AutoCAD 01 Concepts. Number one, use the zoom window icon to zoom around an area. Well, we've talked about using the scroll wheel here at school. Uh, when you wheel it up, you zoom in. When you drag, wheel it downwards, you zoom out. We also have this zoom real time. Click, hold, and drag down. You zoom out, click, hold, and drag up. You zoom in. But lots of times, and I need to escape to get out of that. Lots of times I just quickly want to get around a certain area and I'm in a large drawing. This is the one to use right here, zoom window. You click it, you, you tell it an upper left corner here, and then you click at the lower right corner and in you go. To get back to your entire drawing, this is very easy, zoom previous. Click it we're back to our drawing. Zoom window, go into another area, do what you need to do, and use the previous to get back quickly. Now once in a while you zoom into something and it's just not displayed very well. This isn't a good example because it's fine, but sometimes you may need to refresh your display and you can type regen on the command prompt. Uh, you can also go through the view menu and I'm just going to enter to make that command happen, or through here, regen. Uh, number four, create single line text. So we can go in through the menu, draw, text, single line text, or we can go in through the command prompt. I'm just going to type text, and I enter. It says, where do you want to start the text? I actually should zoom out before I do this, so let me do that. Okay, I'm going to type it back in text, enter. I want the text right here, so I click right there. I want my text to be about one foot high because that's a quick, easy note that I'll be able to see. I can tell because of my grid points knowing that they're one feet high. So I'm going to tell it 12 inches. Um, by default, it's actually already set at that, but just to show you that you can change it, you can enter whatever you want. I'll actually put it 14 inches high. Press enter. It says, what rotation angle of text do you want? Zero is the default. That's going to take it straight across horizontally, which is what we want. So we press enter. Now it's ready for us to type. I'm going to type my name. And when I press enter, I can continue typing if I want and to get out I need to press the enter two times. One, two. I I'm finished the command. Now it's called single line text and that's because even though it lets us do multi-line here it when you go to uh, select it these are all separate single line entities so I guess that's why the name happens. If I double click right on the text, I can get in here and make a few changes and enter enter to get out of it. Sometimes uh, you want to get a little bit of information about entities that you've drawn and you can do that quickly with the inquiry uh, toolbar. So I'm going to right click over here on uh, an icon and here's the toolbar I want inquiry. I turn it on. I'll just uh, dock it over here. Uh, right now I'm going to select this circle. That's what I want information about. And this icon here is the list and that is going to give me information about this circle. It tells me the radiance, radius, the circumference, the area, the coordinates of the center point, what layer it's on, etc. So just close that out. So again, if I click this line, go into list, it's telling me the length, it's telling me what angle, it's telling me all the coordinates, the layers, various pieces of information. The idea though, uh, if you click the, I, the object first and then do the list is the easiest because if you forget uh, people get lost and it's actually asking you down here okay you want some information select the object you want it for and once you select it then you have to remember to press enter and then it would show up so it's just easiest to select it first then go to list 
Okay, number eight, create a circle with a known radius. Uh, let's do it. Click on the circle icon, come to the screen, click where you want the center point to land. So I'm going to click right here, move my mouse out just so you can see. I could quickly draw one by eye, but I want to draw this with a two foot radius. So I look down on my command line here and it reads specify radius of circle. Perfect. If I know the radius, I just type it in. Let's say 24, enter. Done. Now, sometimes you may want to create a circle with a diameter for whatever reason. Uh, maybe you know the diameter and it's long to type in. Then we can click the circle icon, click on where the center point will land, and now look down in the command line it says specify radius. Well, in this case we want to use diameter, so what we're going to do is press D because diameter has a capital D, so that tells us that the shortest way to enter this command is just with the D. So we press D, and actually we can enter and put the diameter, this time it's going to be 2 foot 3 uh, and one quarter inches. Enter. Done. There's another little shortcut. Click the circle command, click on for your center point, press D and space bar, and then put the diameter in. Let's make it two foot uh, four and a half inches. Enter. Done. Okay, how to get out of any command. A lot of times people accidentally click on their screen and what that puts you into is a selection mode of uh, selecting entities. Sometimes you don't want to be in that. To get out of any command, just press the escape key. Uh, to get out of any grips, press the escape key. Sometimes it takes two presses. Uh, so that's number 11, how to deselect anything with grips. So those blue things are called grips. Number 12, create an ellipse. Okay, let's make an ellipse that's 6 feet on the X. Okay, it's asking us to specify the axis endpoint of an ellipse. And what that means is the left quadrant point of an ellipse. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to move my mouse over this away. And I'm going to tell it the full dimension across to the other quadrant point, which is going to be 6 feet, and I'm going to enter. Now when I demonstrate, I always move the mouse to, to indicate the y-axis, but someone showed me today that you don't have to. So I don't want to move it. Right now we're 6 feet wide, and we want the ellipse to be, let's say, uh, 4 feet across the full distance. When we enter the second axis measurement, we have to cut it in half. So if 4 foot's the full distance, we have to type in half of that. So I'll type in 2 feet, enter, and we're done. And just to check that, uh, what I'm going to do is go into my running snap here and put my settings, and my quadrant setting is running already. Do a little zoom into here. We'll draw a line from this quadrant point to this quadrant point. Enter, enter to get back in the command. So I have two lines here and if we list this line we can see that the length is four feet so we've done it right. If we list this line the length is six feet so everything's all good. Let's use our zoom previous to come back out. So just remember, the ellipses, whatever axis you draw in first, it's the full distance across. The second axis is only half distance that you put in. Okay, erasing. You can click on an entity and you can just hit the delete key. You could also click on an entity and hit the erase and it's gone. The mistake that people make is to forget to select it first. They come to the erase. Now, it will still work. It's prompting you down here. Okay, I'll erase what you want. 
select it for me. Oh, okay. I want to erase this and I want to erase that. One last step. You have to press the Enter key and those two things are gone now. Okay, the fastest way to move something quickly if you uh, click on it to get the grips and then put your cursor on the line there you can quickly move it. I believe that the center one will also move it. Let's try the ellipse. Center line will move it or just uh, drag on a line. And that's it.